YouTube. Thanks for joining us again today. Really glad to have you. Yesterday we had talked about uh, freedom and permission with homeschooling and how important that is to give yourself those freedoms. And I said I was going to show you some of the cool things that we've added to our life this winter. Um, so I'm going to start actually because we have kept tropical fish. So we've learned a lot about it because we've actually gotten to the point on our tropical aquarium that we have a fully functioning biome. So uh, there's there, the algae is not out of whack, there's no parasites, there's not anything. The, the plants are used to clean the water and the animals eat the plants and it just kind of goes on and it's really, it's been a really great process and I love that. So one of the things we've wanted to do for years and years and years is actually have a salt water system. And I, uh, I shied away from it for a long time because I've heard so much about how hard of a job it is. And then we've really adopted this principle in our schooling of Easy Plus One. I didn't make it up, we just adopted it from someone else. And it's a great, great way to do things. And wow, so the, the boys really have wanted to do salt water and we started doing some proper research and looking it up and we realized because we've managed to get this tropical tank to the point that it's at, that going salt water would actually be Easy Plus One. Now, we're not in a, in a state of life right now where we're doing a lot of uh, traveling or moving around. We're actually pretty stable and pretty stationary. And this was a really good time. So again, because we had eliminated other stuff, what we were able to do now is have a salt water tank. By the way, before I show it to you, I just wanna say thanks again for supporting us and for connecting with us here. I, we really appreciate um, the people that have subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't yet, we'd love it if you could do that. There's a red button just down under the video down there. That, that would be great. It's a free way to say thank you and we really appreciate it. We also love the feedback and the comments. I said before, if you're affected by the new COPPA rules and your comments have been disabled, please continue to comment on our videos and we'll, we'll return the love on all of them really really appreciate it and connecting with other youtubers is one of our favorite things that we do this really is a community uh, we really appreciate it so thanks let's see that aquarium all right hey David hi so David has taken on the role of doing most most of the salt of our new aquarium maintenance it's kind of his baby at the moment but everybody helps so David come on show us what we got okay so if you'll notice Everything hanging on the back of the aquarium, like little section on, everything is slightly crooked. Nothing's perfectly straight. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't even notice. And then down here on the bottom of the sand, all this brown stuff is a diatoms, and it's actually good for the tank. Um, am I correct in saying that it's going to disappear eventually? Yes. It just does its cycle? Yep. Uh... Hello fishies, cute fishies. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this guy. Uh, that is a corn angel. He, the reason that he's supposed to all look, he's supposed to look completely black and blue and white. The reason his face is like that and go, and like it goes down. There's a line down the side of him. Oh, hello, you're so friendly. Ah, oh, there, there you can see the line. Isn't he friendly? Yeah. Hi. Yes, why is the line? There's uh, the line. I don't remember. Oh, okay, we'll ask Andrea. She looked it up. Hey, Andrea. Yeah. Why is the line down the corn angelfish? Um, on the spot, biology. Um, it's the, the ventral nerve cord, and the cells are degenerative. They don't know what causes it, and they don't know what cures it. It just makes them look ugly. It Aww. doesn't affect their quality of life or anything. He hurt too. Okay, but he's, his price you could sell him for went down by like oh, uh, 98%. Completely, yeah. Okay, so here's the funny thing about him. He isn't he cute now. He looks really little. The guy we bought the tank from said he was a dwarf angel, and then we did a bunch of research on him, and he's not. How big is he going to get? Uh, 15 inches long. 15 inches long. The minimum tank size for that guy is 250 gallons. That is not a 250 gallon tank. So if we, we would have originally never bought him because he's too big for our tank, but because we already have him, we're going to keep him until he matures. And actually, the cool thing about him is what happens as he matures. Uh, his scales change color. Like completely. Yeah. And we're hoping that as his scales change color, the white part, the white part where the scales turn white will go away. Yeah. They won't. 
Well, hopefully it's less noticeable. That's what we're hoping. It's not as visible because he goes from these really bright blues and whites to kind of a just more natural, not more natural, maybe more camouflaged. I don't know what the right word is. Um, and our great local fish store said they would give him a home when he gets too big for our tank if we can't find him another home. Mm -hmm. So we've wanted to do this for a long, long time. We're just starting. It's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And this is what we're doing. Okay, so as we wrap this one up, is there anything truly minimalist if you simply look at having a, a saltwater tank, for example, or birds? No, there is really isn't. And a lot of minimalists are like, I don't even have pets, I don't even have a dog. Uh, and that's an option, and that's an option for you, and if that's right, then you should do that. However, for us, using this opportunity in life, when we're stable um, and we're not really moving a lot around a lot or traveling right now, this is the perfect opportunity for us. Uh, We'll talk about it in another video, but we're kind of world schoolers by philosophy. And so having these opportunities to, again, uh, to be working towards learning and really understanding our oceans and the temperatures and the chemical levels and, you know, calcium and magnesium and, and all those important things. I'm teaching my kids hands on how to care for a little part of the ocean. And that's, to me, is really, really cool. And it's really worth it. It's worth my time and it's worth my effort. And we may say no to other things right now. We don't have any soccer practice or swimming lessons. We don't have any of that going on right now. This is, this is our life and we're really enjoying it. So I say that to you to, to help encourage you to have freedom, freedom and permission to do what's right for your family. And if that's what it looks like to be minimalist for you, then do that and embrace it and love it and enjoy it for everything that it is. Uh, thanks. Thank you again so much for joining us. I'm really looking forward to next time and we're going to keep doing this. Ask your questions, post your comments, and we'll keep connecting. We'll see you next time.